given this number by the police, and I believe she's to other church. She's a church sister. I'm gonna put it on loudspeaker so that we all know what's going on. And let's see what she's gonna say. Carol Morgan has been trying to contact the church her daughter is part of. Hello, your call cannot be taken at this moment, so please leave your message after the tone. And I'll phone you back if I could speak about my daughter, please. Thank you very much. Carol says the church was like family to Joy. That was the only people that she associated with, associated with circled herself with, it was just with her brothers and sisters, her family, she says, her church and her family, they were that important to her. Do you feel the church has been helpful? No, they have not. Not in my eyes. No one's contacted me personally via from the church. You know, all the, all the internet that's out there, they could have left a message and some way it would have come through to me, nothing. Is there a chance that the church just haven't been able to contact you, but they've I, been trying? I think personally impossible. I've got a mobile, I've got a house phone, I also have an address. So, you know, out of the three of them, if you couldn't get me on the phone, you could have sent a letter. So you think they, they could have easily found your address They could have easily found my address. Joy was last seen in Ilford on Boxing Day at the church. She was reported missing to the police over a month later. Carol feels the police and media have been slow in highlighting her daughter's case. It just makes me feel, what, what is so different about my child that my child doesn't validate the fact of being shown on the television to say, I, child of England, is missing. I, I, I can't put into words how I feel. I feel like I see inside. But I still believe that my daughter's alive. We've also tried contacting the church, but with no luck so far. Carol says the whole family feel broken.